Final part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to finish off the rig that uses the armature that works with the motion capture data. I'll also show you how to <coughs> bring other motion capture data animations into this file. Uh, the first part I'm going to connect to the armature is the left foot. Now, if I zoom out a little bit and shift middle mouse button pan a little bit and do control uh, G to grab and Z for Z direction, I can move the foot down to about there. And similarly, if I pan in the front view and G to grab. Now, the only tricky thing about the foot is that uh, it needs to be perpendicular. The bone goes straight down, but the foot works if it's perpendicular. So now I can connect up. Because it's a small bone, it's well worth zooming right in. Hold down Shift, select the bone, Control and P, and bone, and that's connected. The next part I'm going to connect up is the left upper arm. Uh, before I do that, we have a problem with the armature being very narrow across the shoulders. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to select any bone and go into edit mode. There we see we've got another problem with um, a Z offset. Uh, but I'm just going to live with that. If I select this bone, hold down shift, I can select all the bones of the left arm. I've forgotten to make sure that you've got X mirror on. That's very important. Now I'm going to press G and X and move the arm to about there. And zoom in a bit. I'm going to select just the um, tail of this bone if I can. and G and X again and move that bone over to there. Click on any bone and go back into pose mode and zoom out to see where we are. Shift middle mouse button to pan. Select the upper arm. I've got a 30 degree angle on that so I'm going to take that off. Uh, G to grab put it about in the middle of the bone and uh, S for scale, Z for Z direction and about there. Uh, just check in the right view that it's in the right place. G to grab, Y for Y direction Then zoom in and parent it. So shift and grab the bone and control and P and bone. I said before that as you go along connecting your 3D model to your armature, it's a good idea to regularly check that it still works in the with the motion capture data very easy to mess it up. So to do that you go into Dope Sheet View and use the action editor to reload the jump kick, kick action. Make sure the model needs to be in pose mode when you do that and I've connected the uh, upper thigh, the foot, the upper arm and the body and the action is still working properly and those parts are connected. The last part I'm going to show you how to connect up is the head. Uh, we go back to the standing still action and rewind. Uh, I won't show you how to connect up all the other parts. The principle is, is the same. I'm going to zoom in, uh, shift middle mouse button, select the head, shift, select the head bone, control and P for parent relationship and click on bone. Remember to save regularly uh, and increase the version number each time 
so that if you do make a mistake you can go back to a clean version bring another motion capture file into this file uh, we don't want to use import because that would bring the armature in again so I'm going to do file new delete the default cube and file uh, import motion capture BVH I've got some more from the same source in this folder and I'll go for the breakdance and that imports the armature with the keyframes. I'm going to save that and I'll call it breakdance blender dot blend I'm going to go back to the file I've been working on and now I'll do file append and find the file and now there's an action folder go in there and there is the breakdown action and so I'm going to append that um, let's see if it's there don't forget to press the F if you want to save it with the file click that F there and let's have a look to see if it works zoom out a bit and press play and there we have our rig doing a break dance we need to set the length of the animation to about 210 and is he going to do a spin pretty cool an exciting development is that Microsoft have released a free software development kit for their Xbox Connect motion sensor device. Uh, this means you can con connect a connect to a PC and uh, capture motion data. Whether you can get that straight to a BVH format I don't know but there are third-party uh, products that say they will capture BVH files. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I'll put all the files and links at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.